गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सोशल साइंस टीचर फ्रॉम मनबोधन प्रसाद पब्लिक स्कूल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर और द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दैट चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज अवर एनवायरनमेंट एंड दिस इज फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ सो इन दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इन्वायरमेंट एंड द नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट सो इट हैव द डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशंस एंड द लिथोस्फेयर एंड हाइड्रोस्फेयर आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू नेक्स्ट classification is atmosphere so atmosphere is a thin layer of air that surrounds the earth and we can also so say that that it is like the blanket of air that surrounds the earth and that is we known as a atmosphere so um, our earth has having the gravitational force that why that's why it holds the atmosphere around it so because of the gravitational force we can walk easily as you know that gravitational force pull each and everything towards itself and atmosphere protect us from the harmful radiation of the sun as we all know that sun is also sun is giving us to uh, energy and heat but it also providing us some radiations some ultraviolet rays and our atmosphere protect us because our atmosphere is consisting different gases and in these different gases the percentage of oxygen is very high which protect us from the harmful rays or the radiations of the sun so that our atmosphere is consisting of the mixture of gases dust particles and water vapors so any change in the atmosphere bring about a change in the weather and climate of the earth so weather is considered as a condition which change place to place and time to time if you are here and if you are feeling hot and in the night time you can feel the coldness that means there is a change of weather but the climate did not change for several years it will remain same for a long time so it is due to atmosphere that our planet has life on it and bearable living conditions to sustain it we have the bearable living condition because of this atmosphere there are five main layers of the atmosphere these are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere you can see all the layers in this diagram this is a layer diagram of atmosphere the first layer is known as troposphere which is from the earth crust to the 12 km above the sky so this is troposphere and after 12 km to 50 km there is a stratosphere and after that from the 50 km to 80 km there is a mesosphere and from 80 to 700 km there is a thermosphere and after that 700 to 10000 km there is a exosphere in exosphere the satellites were move so this is all about the atmosphere next topic of this chapter is a biosphere the narrow zone where lithosphere and hydrosphere and atmosphere meets and interact is called the biosphere that means where the life is present that means the lithosphere hydrosphere that means water and atmosphere that means the air all these thing land air and water where they all meet there is a life present and that is known as biosphere the word biosphere comes from the greek word bio which means life and the latin word sphera which means total range biosphere consists of the plant and animal kingdom and it is also called the living world because because uh, there is a land water and air which is essential for the human being to survive that means there is a living world that means known as a biosphere